Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking in more water, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Aquarians, as it take care of you. Ashe, welcome back, my loves. Come on in. Have a seat. Get comfortable, my loves. Kick off your shoes, okay? We're going to talk about this thing called love, all right? We're going to see what messages, source, your guardian angels, and your ancestors have for you in regards to love, all right? So let's dive in, my loves, and shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate you, all right? If you would love to become an evolving spirit like I myself, don't forget to click that big fat thumbs up all right don't forget to click that join membership button that's down below it gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings your email questions and also your love live stream questions when i go live my loves and welcome back to the ones that are new here thank you for stopping by don't forget to click that like button all right don't forget to subscribe my loves be a part of family this is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform. And most of all, don't forget to click that join membership button and the subscription button and look and the definitely the notification bell because I do post your readings here every two days. So that way, Aquarians, you do not miss out on your reading. Okay. All right. I say I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Let's dive into it. Okay. We're first going to start with a Oracle deck here. Okay, we're going to again see what messages, source, your guardian angels and ancestors have for you. Definitely stick around. I'm going to use a love romance angel deck to see what's going on in your love life. And then we'll finish up with the traditional tarot deck to clarify and get more clarification for you. Okay, all right. So let's see. Ooh, we already have some energies here. Wow, my, my, my Aquarians, what's going on? All right, we have regret here. All right, I know that I cannot change the past, all right? So either this is your current energy here that we're diving into, Aquarius, or this is someone that is around you, all right? We have, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness, okay? Denial, all right, wow, Okay, I'm going to just let you know right off the bat that these are very low vibrational energies or feelings or thoughts at that matter. Okay, yeah, look at this blame. All right, I accept responsibility for my well-being. All right, so wow, there's a particular energy around you. All right, if this is not you. Okay, that is feeling regret, denial, and blame here. Or Aquarius, this is you feeling denial, regret, or blame here, okay? So we're all grown. Just take it where it resonates, okay? And it's okay. We've all been in this situation. We all felt this way. No one here is perfect. If you was, you wouldn't be here, okay? So rather, if this is you, Aquarius or a particular energy around you they're feeling very regretful right now for what they've done here all right they're being denial here in regards to the situation here and they're blaming themselves at the same time all right and then wow last card that jumped out here was judgment all right and they're being judged here okay the universe it was judging this particular person or being okay or whoever this may be all right, due to a situation here that they regret doing, this could be something, Aquarius, that you may have put yourself in or involved yourself in here. And now you may have regret because you took upon 
the necessary effort, the time, the energy in regards to this situation or this circumstance here or even a person here that you may, you know, gave your heart to, you gave your energy to, your time, you put in effort when it comes to a relationship here and this person may have hurt you, all right, and you may have blamed yourself due to this person doing the things that they have done towards you and now it's judgment okay judgment is here all right someone is definitely being judged in regards to a situation here and it's going to be up to them to allow this situation to come out in a more positive perspective or go back as descending in a lower perspective okay so you got to be careful because you don't want to create karma for yourself for whoever this is that i'm speaking with here okay so again if it's not you flip it all right and i'm not saying flip it just because flip it because it resonates to your current situation or in regards to a relationship just don't flip it just because if it's resonating that's great that's awesome if it's not it's okay click the notification bell check back in another two days and we'll see what general message we have for you okay these are general messages not personal readings not one-on-one -on -one. okay let's get that understood people be coming out the woodworks telling me shit and when they have to understand that this is a personal reading, or excuse me, this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. There are over 10,000 people that view my readings, my videos every day. And you, and people, it, it just trips me out. And people expect this general reading to resonate for them 100% when over 10,000 plus views watch each of my videos you gotta be kidding me like get the fuck out of here let's be real all right if you want a personal reading in regards to your personal situation then all means be necessary here and click the email or the description box to obtain the email and we will go ahead and set you up a personal reading here Besides that, just take what resonates and leave what don't. I say, I say. Let's move forward here, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Now, honestly, I can't pull out the Love Romance Angel deck just quite yet, Aquarius, because I don't know what the fuck this is, okay? I got to dive deep here with the Kipper deck to see what I can get here and see what the fuck is going on, okay? I don't know why automatically off back your reading here is low energies and low frequency vibrations here, okay? And like I said, this could be due to someone may have, you know, removed themselves from a situation here that was a relationship. This could have been a whole marriage here, okay? And this person is, you know, being very in denial of this relationship or you know they're regretting the things that they may have done this person may have portrayed you Aquarius okay and they are now realizing what they've done here is why judgment is here and they're blaming themselves okay so let's see here source angels ancestors tell me more here with the Kipper deck in regards to the energies here that are amongst us source why do we have regret denial blame and judgment i feel like this is a situation here with gratitude here at the bottom of the deck here all right i am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents okay this is a situation here where someone may uh it was being aware of how someone has treated them how someone has betrayed them and they're now needing to show gratitude to take this situation, however, as a lesson, all right, as a awareness to what has really been going on. Yeah, this was in regards to some of you all a marriage here, all right? Some of y'all, this is definitely in regards to a relationship, okay? Someone that you may have been in a relationship here with quite some time now. All right, this could be someone that was your counterpart 
or your spouse here. All right. This was someone here that you may regret even engaging your energies here with just simply because of what they done or vice versa or queries what you done towards this particular person or energy here. Okay. What else, Source? What else is going on here? Why do we have regret, denial, and blame and judgment? Why do we have regret, denial, blame, and judgment here, Source? What's going on here? Tell me more for Aquarius placements. What do they need to know in regards to this situation? Right. We have poverty here, okay? This was a particular person or energy here that was brought up and they were not in a place that they always wished or imagined to be, all right? They had a real rough life, childhood growing up, okay? As you can see just by the energy in this car, you know, he had a poor childhood, okay? He had very rarely with the type of, you know, family or parents that he was given as far as bringing him up, all right, that could have been very hard to make ends meet due to the family that he was brought up in, okay? And it's unfortunate because, you know, it's just like as far as the hands or the cards that we get dealt, all right? Like Forrest Gump say, life is like a box of chocolates and you never know what you're going to get. You know, this was a situation where this child was brought up or this particular person here that's now an adult, right, was brought up in a very, um, you know, place where it was they very corrupted, I feel like, all right? I feel like the family was not a stable family, all right? This could have been a person that was really treated bad or awful when it comes to someone taking care of them. All right, that could have had abandonment issues simply because of this, okay? This person had a rough life here is why I feel like as well is why they're in this low frequency and vibration, okay? And why it may be hard for this person to even have relationships because of the way how they were brought up, all right? So when it comes to love, when it comes to, you know, giving, giving, even exchange and things like that, this maybe was very difficult for this person to do. And every time they got in a relationship, it become it begun to become more and more of a challenge for them due to them being brought up this way. Okay? Now, I'm not saying this is an excuse because once you get to a certain age and you start experiencing the same <clears throat> life experiences as far as your parents or whoever brought you up, right? It don't even have to be your parents, Okay? It could have been someone that had to take over for your parents or someone that had to bring you up, particularly for whatever reason here, right? And now when you get to look at life from your own glens or your own, you know, perspective, right? Then you are being judged, okay? Because you have an opportunity to better yourself or make things right in, in regards to your behalf as being an adult. You now have your free will. You now have choices to make. So this is a situation that this person can no longer blame others or blame the way they were brought up. It's a point where you have to now make a decision to grow the fuck up or, you know, necessarily take accountable for your responsibilities here is what I'm getting at. Yeah, and then we have occupation here. Yeah, this could have been an issue for this person as far as, you know, finding a job when it comes to their finances and career here as well, all right? And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have community here, all right? Some of y'all, this could be based off this particular person in their community here, all right? Mm, let's get into this, my loves, okay? I'm, now I'm going to pull out the Love Romance Angel deck to see what further details we can get, okay? And I definitely want to use the Hidden Truth Oracle deck, and then we'll finish up with the traditional tarot deck, all right? Because there is a lot of regretful energy here. This reminds me of the Five of Cups energy here in the traditional tarot deck that talks about disappointment, right? That talks about regret, crying over spilled milk, all right? And just being hurt due to, you know giving more in relationships and not receiving the same energy in return, 
all right, and then beginning to blame yourself because of the type of relationships that this individual or you have been choosing, Aquarius, okay? And it's okay. These relationships are as well teach you to know who you are, teach you value for yourself, all right? Teach you to understand your worth and teach you to understand what relationships are there truly for. They're there to help you evolve, all right? So don't beat yourself up if you feel like you are, you know, continuously going down the same path or dealing with the same issue. You know, at that point, you want to look at yourself in the mirror. You want to observe the situation and ask yourself, why do I keep falling into these same type of relationships or situation or vice versa? This is how this person is feeling here that you are dating or have been in a relationship with once before here. All right. It says, yes, family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? And some of y'all, this is what this is in reference to, as I mentioned here, as growing up in poverty, okay? Some of y'all may have blamed your parents due to the way that you were brought up and the situation that you're currently in now. And at some point, Aquarius, okay, you have to let that go, all right? You have to forgive yourself, and forgive others, okay? I know that's a hard pill to swallow, all right? I've been there, I've done that, and I got this t-shirt, okay? But, you know, if you're definitely wanting to get on that love frequency vibration, and if you're wanting to extend, then you have to go to those measures, okay? You're going to have to face that feeling that you're having due to what your parents or your family or whoever raised you, you know, done towards you or the situation here when it comes to your childhood okay source what's going on when it comes to Aquarius love life provide me clarity when it comes to Aquarius love life here for ending the month of April what do they need to know in regards to this situation here source yeah we have love yourself first Aquarius your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay so don't give up when it comes to love okay i understand that you know because of the way that you were brought up or particularly the way that this particular energy around you was brought up they even given up on love at this point okay because they feel like they are keep getting the same type of relationships right and they are being you know drained here for some of you all mentally drained here i'm hearing because of the relationships that this person has been in or you all right, and then yeah, we have codependency here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Some of y'all may have addictions that you're battling with. Okay, we've all have addictions, we all had codependency on something, rather, if it was a person, a thing, or some type of circumstance here. Okay, so recognize any codependency issues that you may have had. Or in regards to this particular person, they may have had very much strong codependency issues that could depend on you a lot, all right, Aquarius, to do things, to get the job done, to financially provide, and it just became so much draining on you because this person codependent on you for everything, okay? So be mindful of that as well, all right? And then we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take, all right? And some of y'all, like I said, you have someone that's coming in here for you, but because of your past and because of the way how you were treated when it comes to these other relationships, right, you've not even taken the time or the effort to even move forward and to be open to receive new love offers here, I feel like for some of you all, not all of you, but some of you all. And then we have it is safe. For you to love yes like I said because some of y'all feel like it's not even safe for you to love it's not safe for you to open your heart up due to how this person in the past treats you this could have been you know not only one person this could have been several different relationships Aquarius that I feel like you may have engaged your energy here with or vice versa this person that you are currently in a relationship with and this person has got to the point where they feel like it's not even safe to give their energy out because they've given out so much energy and felt like they've got nothing in return here. Okay, it says open your heart, Aquarius, to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
So your ancestors and your guardian angels, they see you, Aquarius. They understand you right now as well. So don't think for a second that they don't. But it's going to take on your behalf here in the 3D realm, you actually applying yourself to, you know, work through these childhood feelings, emotions, and, you know, viewpoints on where you were brought up and how things worked out in your life for you. This is what we call shadow work. It's something that we all have to process and go through, all right? Because if not, you would never be open for love or relationships or even marriage or anything at that point even engaging with a simple friend or a family member when you're in a low frequency and vibration of having these type of thoughts okay because thoughts are very powerful and you can create these thoughts right out in the 3d realm if you don't watch what you think so you want to try to show as much as gratitude and appreciation as possible because you have to think things could have even been worse than what they may feel like to you now is why I feel like you and this particular energy here is under judgment, okay? And these situations and circumstances were here to teach you lessons, okay? So you don't have to beat yourself up, all right? You were meant to go through these type of situations to understand who you are and why this has happened, okay? And once you understand that, then you can apply yourself Pull what needs to be pulled out of you to be recognized and deal with it right on so you don't have to keep repeating these type of cycles when it comes to people, places, and situations, all right? Because you have a soulmate, like I said, you have an energy here that wants to come in, someone that is going to help lift you up, support you, and be your backbone, okay? But it's up to you. Okay, the ball is in your court, Aquarius. I shake. All right, so let's see how this particular energy is feeling towards you. I want to see how the energies that, you know, cause these feelings here. Let's see how they feel. Let's see if you can get some peace, some closure here for some of y'all that may or not even communicating with this particular energy here that is in this regretful blame energy here okay and then due to us having a new energy coming in here some of y'all i want to say congratulations because you have been doing the work all right you have been working on yourself you have been accepting things that you can't change all right and you are moving forward here and i want to say congratulations because that is not easy to do all right and this is why you are now making the effort you're going into that frequency and vibration of love you have accepted the things that you cannot change you have forgave yourself and you have forgave others and now you're receiving true genuine love all right is why we have soulmate here and like i said what's at the bottom of the deck is what we don't expect coming our way and again some of you all have a soulmate coming in because look at all this flirt energy here Okay, for the others of you, again, who have done the work and that is on that frequency and vibration, because I am picking up several different timelines. Here, okay, I'm picking up a timeline that is still currently in this relationship and they're dealing with this situation with this person being codependent. And others of you, you have finally removed yourself from this particular situation and circumstance. Some of y'all have even gotten a divorce from this particular person here, all right? Or you just remove yourself overall, and now you're healing. Now you're doing the shadow work. And others of you have already come this situation. This could have been months ago, years ago. And now you're now being able to be in the energy to receive true, genuine love, okay? So this is like almost three different timelines here that I have picked up so far, all right? So again, just take as where it resonates. And if it don't, it's okay. That means the message here is not for you today, my loves. It's for who is needing it right now, okay? All right, so be mindful, be respectful of others. If it's not for you, then it's okay, all right? That means that you're not on this frequency of vibration. Figure out which one you're on, all right? And that could be in a good way or that could be in a bad way. Just again, take it where it resonates. I wasn't the fly on the wall. All right, moving forward. So let's see how this person feels. Let's see what their hidden truth feelings are towards you, Aquarius, for the energies that are surrounding you. 
and then I'm going to use my raw tarot deck because I want to see what's going on here for the ones that have done the shadow work who have healed all right some of the wounds here and you're still processing and healing here I want to see how this new energy that's coming in this soulmate energy for you and then we'll finish up with a tarot deck here for you wow I have I love you all right, so there's a particular energy around you that is realizing and recognizing, even though they have blamed themselves, even though they regret the things that they may have done towards you, but at the end of the day, they still have feelings towards you. They love you, okay? What else, Source? What else for this energy? And they may not have even told you this because they may could have issues when it comes to, again, being codependency because due to how they were brought up, and their parents or the people that may have raised them never told them, you know, when it comes to emotions and never expressed themselves. So this person may have had a hard time expressing themselves when it comes to how they feel. So why is coming out here stating in this energy saying, I love you, this person, you may not even have heard this before them telling you this, or you may not even have heard this. I love you as often because it's been hard for them to express their emotions. They may have been so used to keeping in their emotions because of the way that they were brought up as a child okay and this is something that they're battling with and i feel i feel like again this is why this relationship had to go the way it needed to go so this could bring this out of this person here that is lacking when it comes to expressing themselves or communicating overall all right yes i can't make this up i hid who i really am from you all right, and I believe we got this card once before in your last reading here as well. All right, how this person wasn't being honest here and they was wearing a false mask here. I'm definitely going to post that reading here throughout your reading and at the end of your reading as well. So definitely go check out that video. I will post it at the end of the video here. Okay, wow. Yeah, and then at the bottom of the deck we have, I am afraid to contact you. All right, and this is for some of y'all, like I said, this is why they have been afraid to contact you or you vice versa, Aquarius, have been afraid to contact this person because I hid who I really am from you. Okay, this person, like I said, and I just said that ironically because the last card that came out here in your last reading was from the Love Romance Angel deck was I am wearing a false mask or this person in a relationship, excuse me, was wearing a false mask and now in this reading we have the same energy here i hid who i really am from you this person was not being honest about who they were or where they were from they could have told you that they came from a wealthy family all right and in all cases they may did not all right they may have had experienced a totally different lifestyle from you aquarius okay all right wow so let's see about this you know this new energy here this particular energy that's going to have you in your childhood energy for the ones who have overcome this process here all right and your guardian angels is telling you that now it is safe for you to love again you are doing the healing and you have processed the shadow work here so now by you doing that you're being able to bring in someone that is on your frequency and vibration and who has went through the same process as you have and you two are ready to you know genuinely help support each other due to the type of relationships that you both have experienced your Aquarius so let's see how this particular energy is feeling towards you for the ones that have already met this person for the ones that you're currently getting to know this person you could have been dating this person for quite some time now could have been a couple of months here almost a year so let's see how this particular energy is feeling towards my aquarius yes my loves definitely if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up show spirit some love all right and definitely my loves if it's resonating for you all right subscribe hit that notification bell as well again and you'll come back and we can see what we have for you on the next reading as well here for you okay well i have now i got blue balls oh my goodness aquarius what are you doing to them what are you doing to this particular person some of y'all you may not want it to be intimate right now you may not or in that energy or space right now to you know you know just honestly you know be intimate with this person right now 
okay this person you know may it was not understanding for some of y'all this is why you may have been keeping to yourself and that's okay don't rush that process okay either they are willing to be understanding and wait or they're not and it's okay they don't have to be all right they can move forward someone that is willing to give it up okay don't rush yourself or try to make yourself meet this person's needs because you're not ready to take it to the next level or be intimate with this person so if they're gonna have to have blue balls let them have blue balls okay wait till you're ready okay you have to process a lot here for some of you all here wow i show here i always wanted you okay so this person always wanted you this person always wanted to be with you all right some of y'all this person could be a libra here we have Libra splitting the deck here, okay? Libra is very significant for someone. This could have been your person from the past here, all right? Or this could be the new person here, the new energy, the soulmate energy that's coming in there for you. So definitely comment down below if some of you all are engaging with the Libra here, all right? What else, Source? What else in regards to this reading here? Source, angels, ancestors for Aquarius placements. How else does this person feel? Wow, we have, I wanted to make you all minds. Wow, I want to make you all minds, Aquarius, okay? This person wants to make you all theirs, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, this new person is someone that's going to come in and be able to meet your needs, okay? In regards to what this particular energy from the past was lacking of, because due to their situation, again, like I stated, and how they were brought up, they may not know anything about how to express themselves and give you your love language, how this person in your future is going to be. Wow, and then look at the bottom of the deck. I will make it all up to you, all right? So this person wants to make it up to you, Aquarius, okay? They want to do what's right for some of you all, this person from your past, okay? Wow, powerful message here so far. I am speechless here, Aquarius, okay? All right, we never know what to expect as readers until we pull out all the cards and what energies that we're tapping into, right? All right, so let's finish up here. We're going to use the traditional tarot deck for you. All right, source, angels, ancestors. What can Aquarius take away from this beautiful spread here today? Source, angels, ancestors. What can Aquarius take away from this beautiful spread when it comes to their love life? Source, angels, ancestors. Can Aquarius take away from this beautiful spread? Spoke a lot of volumes here today, my loves. Wow, we have the Ace of Coins here, honey. Okay, aka the Ace of Pentacles here. Some of you all are going to be receiving an opportunity here because you decide to make the choice for your highest good. Because, like I said, you're under judgment here for some of you all, Aquarius, or vice versa, your person deals. And because you choose a direction that's going to give you a higher perspective the right choice for some of you all here that's going to lead you down the right path you're going to be able to receive a opportunity here given to you because you're going down the right path you're meeting frequencies that are on a higher frequency and vibration to be able to help assist you like I said, some of you all have a group or a community like I myself or a platform here that's going to be able to assist you when it comes to financially here as well from your, you know, because of the choices that you have decided to make here. All right. You're being given opportunities here. I feel like left and right once you make a decision here based off this circumstance here. Okay. Yes, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Some of you on this person is going to be an earth sign here. That's going to be coming towards you. Anyone can embody the energies from the card. But however, we have two earth energies here. Very strong here. So some of you on this person may be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. That's coming towards you. And this could have been taking quite some time now. Okay, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck here. But they want to make sure to bring you a solid offer. They're not coming to you with a Knight of Cups here or a Knight of Wands. They're coming to you with a Pentacle. Something that is tangible, something that's in a 3D realm, something that's going to allow a situation to grow, all right, be able to build with you, okay? So they want to make sure to dot their 
horizon cross their t's aquarius when it comes to bringing you this solid offer here okay and i feel like for some of you all it's going to start out here with a knight of pinnacles here but then it's going to grow into this big ass pinnacle you see that this person is going to come to you it might be a small offer but it's something that's going to be solid and then you two will be able to grow and then it's going to come into this big pinnacles here okay i'm not making this up and like i said some of y'all this is going to be your soulmate because you cho you chose to take a different path you chose to free yourself for some of you all from this codependency energy here from your past here this person that you know was just pulling you down and pulling your energy down here because of the things and how they treated you okay wow let's get one more card before we finish up your spread here and this has been a completion okay this is a cycle here that looks like it has come to an end and now you're going into a new beginning here with this soulmate here all right that's coming in and bringing you and offering you this solid offer here with the knight of pentacles what else what can aquarians take away from this spread here today what advice can aquarians receive from this powerful spread here today source angels thank you wow yes we have the six of pentacles here okay more earth energy all this is earth energy that is jumping out here so again this person may have highly placements of earth element in their chart as a capricorn a virgo or a taurus here okay but this person wants to give you give and even take here okay like i said this is someone that's going to be able to take a pinnacle off this scale and they'll be able to put the pinnacle right back Okay, this is someone that you're not going to have to worry about when it comes to your finances here. This is someone that you're not going to have to worry about being codependent on you for everything. All right. So this is someone that you're going to be able to have peace with. You can be able to breathe around. You can be able to focus. Okay. I feel like the energies that you have dealt with in your past, I feel like they was always penny pinching or trying to get something out of you, but you're not going to have to worry about that. I feel like this so many energy here is going to be able to meet you in the middle. You have gone through a lot and you've come a long way, Aquarius, and now you're going to get everything that you're deserving of. Now we have a page of pentacles here. Yes, this talks about messages, sending messages with the page, okay? So not only is this person first going to check in first, they're going to send you a message as in, hey, Aquarius, what do you think about this opportunity? All right. What do you think about if we start here and we build here and then this becomes this in the future and then you give them a response and then they start taking off on the Knight of Pentacles on their horse that we see in a traditional tarot deck. And then after that, this is what the outcome of that comes to. Right. The Ace of Pentacles. Now, do you see the order of that? You go from the page of pinnacle, which is the youngest energy in the deck. Then you go to the knight of pentacles here. All right. Actually taking actions here and moving forward towards this offer. And then it becomes the ace of pinnacle. All right. Beautiful coordination. Do you see how the divine works? And that's why and how you're going to receive giving, even take here. Wow, Aquarius. This has been a powerful reading here for you today. Again, I hope the reading has resonated with who it needed to resonate with. If so, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All right. Again, if you're new here, subscribe. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, Aquarius, all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. I love you all so much. Take care and congratulations. You deserve this, Aquarius. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.